Nigel Farage's UKIP has pulled off a stunning double election result by snatching a safe Tory seat to win its first Westminster MP and coming within an ace of ousting Labour from one of its northern strongholds. Tory defector Douglas Carswell earned his place in the history books by retaking his Clacton on Sea seat as predicted, but with a massively bigger than expected majority of over 12,000 votes and 60% share of the vote. The Conservatives slumped to just over 8,700 votes and just 25% share of the vote, compared to the 53% of the 2010 election. And in a second sensation, UKIP's John Bickley forced a recount in Haywood and Middleton after coming within 600 votes of beating Labour's Liz McInnes. The results saw Labour increasing its share of the vote by only 1% to 41% over its awful 2010 performance, holding the seat with 11,633 votes compared to UKIP's 11,016 a massive increase in its share from just 3% in 2010. The Liberal Democrats were virtually eliminated in both contests. The dramatic results have damaged both Ed Miliband and David Cameron, celebrating his 48th birthday, and left them facing the stark reality that the UKIP bandwagon is continuing to roll and still has the potential to cause them real problems in next May's general election. There will also be fresh fears that other UKIP sympathising Tory MPs may be ready to jump ship and join Nigel Farage's party in what would be a massively damaging blow to both the party and Cameron's leadership.